Hey there, it's great to have you back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clip multiple georeferenced raster files and merge them into a single map file using OCGIS. Before we begin, make sure that you have watched my earlier tutorial on georeferencing multiple carousel map using OCGIS. In this tutorial, I'm going to start the project georeferencing from earlier project. So, load the necessary layers with corresponding coordinates reference systems. Alright, in previous video, I have georeferenced a cadastral map. Once the project is opened, navigate to the right bottom of the panel to see the corresponding coordinates, which is in decimal degrees in default. In order to change the decimal places, navigate to customize from menu bar and select Arc Map options. In Arc Map options, navigate data view and edit the decimal places to 6 or 7. Once you customize the decimal places, click OK to save changes. Once you have customized the decimal places and added the layers, we need to clip them. Clipping is a process of removing unwanted data from the raster files. Note down the maximum, minimum latitude and longitude from the status bar while mouse over to the extent. To clip the layers, select the clip tools from the toolbar or navigate to the search box on the right side panel and search clip raster. Select the clip uh, from data management tool. Once the clip window opened, select the input raster by clicking the drop down menu at the right side of the input bar. Once you selected the input raster file, it's time to enter the corresponding output extent. In this case, we have selected the southernmost part of the cadastral map. Hence, it is only recommended to enter the maximum y-axis coordinates or latitude and click OK. Now, we successfully clipped the southernmost cadastral map with an extent which will intersect with above cadastral. The same coordinates will be used as a minimum latitude or y-axis value for the EBO map. Now we have the minimum latitude for the second or middle cadastral map. Similarly, we need to fetch maximum latitude for this cadastral map by mouse over on the map where the second map and the first map may intersect. Once we note down the maximum latitude, go back to the clip toolbar and click the respective raster file from the drop down input bar and add corresponding minimum and maximum latitude extent for the carousel map then click OK. Now we have successfully clicked out second carousel map where the maximum latitude of the second carousel map may intersect with the minimum latitude of the first carousel map. Hence without any further ado let's dive into clipping. We we'll select the respective raster layer from the input raster bar and add minimum latitude which intersect with the second raster then click OK now we have successfully clipped all the three parts of the cadastral map it's time to merge them into a single file go to the toolbox and search for mosaic to new raster From there, select the clipped layers that you want to merge. And choose the output location. And provide the appropriate file name with extension .tif. Since the number of bands to be as same as the source file, find out the number of bands from the properties and assign the same. Here in this case it is 1, hence I am assigning 1 as 1 for the number of bands here. Since this raster image is monochromatic, it has only two digital value, either black or white. So choose the pixel type to be 1 bit, then click OK. Congratulations, you have successfully clipped and merged the raster files into a single map file. To export as an image, go to view, select layout view 
and zoom into an extent. Then navigate to export map from file menu and click export map. Provide an appropriate file name, choose a file type and provide a desired resolution then click save. We have successfully georeferenced multiple cadastral map and merged into single map file. Thanks for watching.